Yo, 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 what it is, good people, we back. Another day on Keep It G News, and today we in Manhattan, man. Two brothers. One murdered, one in critical condition, clinging to life, man. Sad situation. Bobby and Malik Burrow is their name. And I want to send my condolences out to the family. You feel me? Y'all going to hear from the father. And y'all just witnessed the crime scene. Very gruesome. You know, you would think somebody was uh was beefing over some type of money or something that, you know, would warrant this type of situation. Yeah, man? Because you don't normally see bloodshed like that unless it's something major. You know, it got to... It got it, it got it got to be something to that level to make people react that way. That's what you would think, right? That's not what it is, though. A dispute at a Manhattan fish market turns deadly. And tonight, the father of the two men stabbed by a worker says that he wants to get the story straight. Meanwhile, it's unclear at this point whether the store employee will face charges. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has the latest from Harlem. Maurice and Christine, police sources tell us investigators are reviewing video to figure out exactly what happened here and next steps. But it resulted in a father losing a son and praying his other son survives. If anybody ever lost a child, then I, then you should know how I feel. This father should be celebrating his son's birthday with him. Malik Burrell would have turned 25 years old today, but he was killed. Police say his 29 year old brother Robert was also stabbed by an employee at Fish Express Fish Market on St. Nicholas Place. The father of two is still hospitalized. They, they real good, real good kids. Like they was raised right, raised with manners. Police sources say Malik went into the market Tuesday night, ordered shrimp, and got into an argument with workers. He allegedly took the food without paying. Paying. An employee then grabbed him and the pair fought. Sources say Malik left, returned with his brother Robert, and another fight broke out. Video from inside allegedly shows a 34 year old worker stab the two men and push them out of the market. Just because they are saying that they stole some shrimp doesn't mean that it's so, because it's not adding up. You don't, sh you don't stab nobody how he stabbed my kids over no damn shrimp. This is not no defense. This is none of that. This is clear murder. They didn't have no weapons on them. The market remained closed Wednesday, but we're told video will determine next steps in the investigation. A high-ranking police source explained, if he's fighting them off with a knife, that's one thing. If he's charging at them with a knife, that's something else entirely. Meantime, this family is mourning, sharing the brothers left their grandmothers to pick up dinner and never returned. She's devastated. She's waiting on them to come back home with the food, and they never came home. They never made it back. We're told the store employee is in custody and does not have a criminal record. Police are consulting with the Manhattan DA to determine if he'll face charges. In Sugar Hill, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. So Malik and Bobby Burrow is from Baltimore, my city, father from my city. Went to New York, actually moved there, was only there for three weeks. Birthday was the same day he was murdered. How sad is that, man? So they go into the store. You know, it's birthday. They're ready to celebrate. Some way, somehow, they're alleging that he tried to steal some shrimp. Y'all heard from the father. He ain't jacking it. He got good kids. Never been in trouble. Now, a witness account is saying that he did try to steal a shrimp. But... Do it want this type of reaction by a man of the name Junior Hernandez? So when I first looked at this story, I'm like, man, I ain't, ain't really too much to talk about. You feel me? Yeah, it's a sad situation. Yeah, it was something that, you know, wasn't that serious, could have been avoided. But I figured you talking fish, I'm thinking maybe Chinese. I could be run wrong for that, you know? Prejudge the whole situation. But then I see the picture of the guy, Junior Hernandez, and realize he's a he appeared to be a black man. More than likely he's Spanish. But this goes to show that all skin folk ain't kin folk. For the most part, black Americans is in this fight alone, man. Because if he was a black man, like fully African-American, 
I doubt if he reacted like this. Now, when they say in the fight ensued, just a fight, fist fight. Malik and Bobby didn't have no weapons. He come from the back of probably more than likely the kitchen. Because he did all this with a kitchen knife. And get to hacking these boys, man. Now, one of them is dead. The other one is in ICU. Now you got this father, this family, is sitting back. They don't know what to do. They want answers. Now, Junior has been charged with first degree murder. I get so sick and tired of seeing black males' lives cut short way too early. For whatever reason. And that's why I always highlight these type of situations. I really don't like talking about it, but it's like if you don't, then who will? Especially talking about it in this in this aspect of I'm talking about it like a guy that really been in these type of environments. I know why these things happen. And I also know how they can be avoided. So this family was supposed to be celebrating for a birthday. End up planning a funeral. That's sad, man. But how do y'all feel about this situation? Should he have came out with this knife and stabbed these guys? I mean, they was wrong. He kicked them out the store, came back with the brother. But this is New York. These type of actions are not justified. It's a difference if they was attacking him. He wasn't being attacked. Not Junior. Junior came out the back of the kitchen with a knife. And now look what we got. One man dead. One in a hospital. Hopefully he survived. Praise go out to him. And you got Junior. Is going to prison probably forever. Because it's New York. Ain't really no room for air there. They don't play that. You know, the rules is strict. Cut and dry. It ain't no gray areas. But my question to y'all is. Was the force that Junior used necessary? Straight up. I don't think it was. Let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments, man. Let's keep it G News. I'm probably gonna die if I leave the claim. You got your turn and you turned your back. You turned around, ain't no turning back. I can't be the boss and no us in that. I'm bringing bow and I'm bipping with two times. I bought the drink and the kick out a coupon. Make 20,000 a neck on a futon. Sitting out, cause my brother in Juma. Why you telling people you selling fit and all? Why you telling feds you selling shit at all? Why you telling cops if you about to get it all? I'ma tell you nothing, I'm already squeezing. You be dreaming about your dreams. I been living out my nightmares. I been missing, I been bad. The other night she was right there. I been lurking with my bros. I been crying with my mom. She be praying to the Lord that I don't turn into a monster. You be dreaming about your dreams. I been living out my nightmares. I been missing Kevin Bay.